Good morning and welcome to the Career and Technical Education Academy. My name is Josh Hall and I get to be the principal of this incredible facility. Um, it's an exciting time in technology education. Every day I get to see students discover their passions and use their minds to create and solve problems, preparing themselves to make more informed decisions about what's next after high school. One of those pathways is to attend one of the exceptional technical institutes our state of South Dakota has to offer. Because our state business leaders <clears throat> see the value in technical education, they have stepped up to create the Build Dakota Scholarship Fund. The scholarship covers the entire cost of attending one of our technical institutions. In fact, there are several students here today at our very own CTE Academy who, who have received word that they will attend a South Dakota Technical Institute next year at no cost because of that Build Dakota Scholarship Fund. If you want to give away. One of the individuals who has been instrumental in the formation and ongoing support of the Build Dakota Scholarship Program is the president of the Build Dakota Scholarship Board of Directors, Mr. Dana Dykhaus. Please help me welcome Dana to the podium. Well, thank you very much, Josh, and uh, I'd like to add my welcome to everybody uh, to as our theme is today, a new day in technical education. And it truly is a new day, a new uh, time for us to do that. We're spotlighting the importance of skilled technical workers uh, filling critical South Dakota workforce needs, and that's what these young people are going to be doing. Four years ago, we began the Build Dakota Scholarship Program with a gift of $25 million from Denny Sanford. That was matched by $25 million from the governor, Governor Dugard, creating a $50 million pool to provide cost-free education, technical education, to young people in this state. Today we have more than 180 industry partners. 180 industry partners have joined us providing funds for scholarships that we can leverage with Build Dakota to help meet those critical workforce needs. In just a short period of time, more than 1,000 South Dakota young people will have graduated or are in line to graduate uh, from one of our four technical schools to join the workforce, over 1,000 young people. And the interesting thing, they will have no debt, no school debt, and when that is one truly a crisis in America today, uh, the cost of higher education, we have funded those to the point that they will have no debt when they graduate. Well, the new day in technical education for South Dakota is gonna have a hallmark day. Mark your calendars for September 20th of this year, September 20th, because we are going to put an even more intense spotlight on what happens. Mike Rowe will be visiting South Dakota to highlight it that day. Mike Rowe, the person who you're all familiar with from his hit TV show, Dirty Jobs, has become a national spokesperson for these skilled trade jobs and has focused on that much of his efforts for many years. In fact, he has a Micro Works Foundation and we have since 2012 had micro scholars attending our schools. So we look forward to having Mr. Rowe uh, being here in South Dakota. He will be visiting both some of our local factories. He will visit all of our technical institutes. He will come here to uh, Southeast uh, Technical Institute and uh, help celebrate 50 years of technical education. He will come to Career and Technical High School right on this very campus and talk to us about opportunities for young people in the skilled trades. In addition to that, that evening, he will help us celebrate by being the keynote speaker of Junior Achievement's 50 years in South Dakota. Junior Achievement in those 50 years have put tens of thousands of business people in the classroom helping teach young people the importance of our free enterprise system. And to have Micro here to help celebrate that 50 years is just gonna be an incredible opportunity. So September 20th uh, of this year, Mike Rowe, famous for dirty jobs, will be in South Dakota to celebrate with us all of the achievements, all of the opportunities that we have in the area of skilled and technical uh, jobs and opportunities for our young people. What a great time it's gonna be for South Dakota. What a great time for the opportunities 
for these young people that you've met this morning and uh, what a great job they are doing as they help build South Dakota uh, for the future. With that, I'd like to introduce our Secretary of Labor, Marsha Holtman, who is here this morning to talk a little bit about those opportunities that we have right here in South Dakota. Marsha. Try not to touch the microphone. Okay. Today's announcement could not come at a better time for South Dakota. Consistently, we hear from employers, news reports, and looking at our statistics, all illustrate that skilled workers are in great demand in South Dakota. What a great future you guys have to look forward to. And these um, kids are really the reason that we're here today. And one of the things I want to share with you is that we currently have in South Dakota over 16,000 job openings. And if we look at the number of individuals we have who are unemployed compared to the number of job openings that we have, we have one third of a person for every job opening in South Dakota. So it's no wonder that we're hearing from employers that skilled workers are really in demand. And so your futures are very bright. Um, I have to share with you, I've got the best quote of the day. I was visiting with some of the young men that are here this morning, and one of them said to me, and if anybody has a senior in high school, I want you to go home and ask them if they share this attitude. This young man said to me, I can't wait for summer to be over so I can start school this fall at STI. <laughs> has there ever been a child facing their last day of high school with that attitude? Um, that's because they know it's relevant, it's real, it's hands-on, and they're super excited to be able to learn and get out in the field and be earning money. The other thing about South Dakota that I can tell you that comes as no surprise is we're worker bees. 69.2% of us are in the workforce. We have the fifth highest workforce participation rate in the nation, and we're also number one for multiple job holders. We have a 9.1% multiple job holder rate, and so what this tells us is people are working. So one of the first things we have to do is we have to look at who's working and who isn't working. And one thing I can tell you is our youth participation rate in the workforce has declined by 10% in the last decade. That's consistent in South Dakota and across the nation. So all of our efforts, many things that we're trying to do are to engage kids, engage teenagers in the workforce to ease the current demand, to improve their soft skills, and form relationships between businesses and our future workforce, and help individuals at the same time make more informed decisions about their future. We have many current efforts today that support this. We have Start South Dakota, or Start Today SD, which is our apprenticeship program. And this is gonna be my um, call out to employers. We have had make sure I get my numbers right, over 412 individuals indicate they'd like to take part in an apprenticeship. At the same time, we've had less than 20 businesses indicate that they would like to sponsor an apprenticeship. So there's a lot of demand, a lot of interest. We just need to encourage our business partners um, to step up to the plate and take advantage of that opportunity. We have Career Launch. We have a new Department of Labor website that promotes those job openings that I talked about. And we have the Build Dakota Scholarship. We are one of two states in the nation that provide technical school scholarships, South Dakota and Indiana. And we've had great success, as Dana alluded to, with those scholarships through Build Dakota. As I've traveled the state in the last year, I've talked to employers across the state, and those that have helped support, who have um, subsidized or contributed to a student's scholarship have nothing but positive things to say. They're seeing the benefits directly of helping a youth attend a technical school and then come back and work for that business. And we're seeing the benefits throughout our state. I know one young man that just graduated this spring, he's a welder here in Sioux Falls, and he's not even welding, he's already a supervisor. He's started debt free first day at work and he's not even on the line, he's supervising those that are. So it just illustrates the quality of kids that are the scholarship recipients and the quality of training that they're getting in our technical institutes. So we look forward to this opportunity. Um, I'm personally kind of a micro fan, so you know, hopefully I'll get to sneak in the back row and wave hi. Um, but this is gonna bring so much attention and so much focus on our efforts. It's gonna elevate what we're working so hard to do we're already starting to change the conversations for parents and decision makers and students alike. 
and I just see this is going to help us build our momentum in such exciting ways. So, like Dana said, definitely mark that date on your calendar, and we can't wait for the positive things and the positive message that this will bring to South Dakota and our workforce development efforts. So, on the governor's behalf, thank you for allowing us to be here and be part of this message this morning. Thank you, Secretary Holtman. As you can see, our state is, is all over technical education and workforce development. Thank you for all of you who attended today, and we look forward to this exciting day next fall on September 20th. Mike Rowe is a huge voice for career and technical education, and it would be great to have him at our facility as well as multiple other facilities in the state of South Dakota.